mom, my dad, that you've been so faithful with for 50 years. So it's just almost beyond words that I try and do what I can and be obedient to God's leading. So thank everyone, and uh, I'll be back to you in an hour or so. Looking forward to that. Thank you, and God bless us tonight. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. And uh, may God be with us and bless us tonight. Ongoing, I pray. And uh, the phone number here for calls is 1248-601-2600. And uh, I thank the Lord for God's help in time of trouble. And uh, there was some equipment that went bad that is used for the broadcast. And uh, I was glad that with God's help, I was able to get something to work. And so we're on the air, and I ask God to bless the broadcast, to minister to every listener. I mean it with all my heart. I want you all to be blessed. I make that my prayer. This is a time that is the most precious moment in my day. And I am so thankful at age 83, I'm not sitting in a chair doing the broadcast. I'm standing and feeling good. I thank God for that. Taking our next call. God bless your on the air. God bless the truck drivers. Hallelujah. Oh, are you a truck driver? Indeed. Hallelujah. Keep talking. What is your name? Trucker Dan. T Trucker Dan. Keep talking. It's your moment. I'd like to say hello to Trucker uh, Minister Kevin out there and trucker vicky hope they're doing well and uh ask that the truck driver support this ministry and uh follow what the uh, messenger just said about using the internet to uh you can use your smartphone to support the ministry very simply and uh because you support us out here, and I know for a fact that you've probably calmed some truck drivers down and maybe saved a few lives out here in a dangerous profession, both on the road and off the road. You know, when the truck driver gets home, uh, you know, that uh, his thinking be straightened out more towards the Lord. I thank God for what's in your spirit, and uh, may God continue to bless you. Are you doing anything in serving the Lord? You sound so good. Well, I'm just trying to stay sober. I'm going to church every Sunday. Hallelujah. And uh, tithing, and uh I'm trying to exercise more. I'm in pain. You know, I called you before. I told you how my son injured me. And yeah. every day I'm getting better and better. I'm swimming in my pool in the morning. But I try to, uh, I try to testify uh, and, and glorify God, uh, not to scare people away. But, you know, I, I got this new job. Uh totally by mistake it just fell into my lap and I was telling the guy the other night down in Ohio that it was God that did that I said God gave me this job and I didn't deserve it and it, 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 it uh, not through process of elimination was it God but through faith I know it was God that gave me this job and made things easier for me so I just try to profess that, you know, uh, if I'm out in public and that and talk, to, to give God the glory. And uh, I, wa 
one thing real quick, Pastor. I remember when I was a kid, I was working, and uh, somebody was blaspheming uh, the Lord, and and I just stayed silent. And I felt God moving me, saying, why didn't you stick up for me? That was your time to shine. That was your time to go to battle for me. And uh, I used that experience as, as a child to... Uh, never waver on the fence to you know it, it, when that instance comes up again when somebody's saying oh there's no God and, you know look at all these people in church wasting their time and I step in and try to uh, show uh, you know the existence of God through my experiences and uh, you know be an extension of God tell that person how the Holy Spirit's work through me so that, that's what I'm doing. Is I'm, not, I, I'm not wasting that opportunity. When the Lord puts that opportunity in front of me as a child, I wavered and I was neutral. And uh, what age are you at now, truck driver Dan? I'm 54. I just turned 54 June 30th. Okay, well, you're still fairly young, but you're getting older. May yeah. God bless you going forward. Thank you. And uh, I wanted to say, for some reason, I thought of George Jr. tonight. Okay. And, uh, yeah, maybe we could send our prayers down to Texas that way. Beautiful. For George Jr. And uh, is for your health as well. And uh, it's good talking to you, Pastor. God bless you. God bless the Night Vision family. I thank God for this moment. God bless you. Thank you. Dear God, be with truck driver Dan and bless him, I pray. Minister to him and use him, I pray. And as he asks that we pray for George Jr., I ask God that you would bless George Jr., lead him and guide him and direct him in every bit of his life. I ask God in Jesus' name that you would bless families, minister to families. Dear God, I pray, let families be brought further in their journey. Minister to all of us. Dear God, I pray, lead us and guide us and direct us. I thank you for your love, but Lord, bless families. Minister to families, mine but every family, I pray. Minister to all of us, and we shall thank you for all of your blessing that comes our way. Minister to us, in this moment help us dear god i pray lead us and guide us in life i pray in jesus name we'll thank you lord and uh it's pretty much time for station identification and so i want to have that before i take the call that's already here. It's time for station identification.